Fields are regions of influence. It's easier to see what fields are with magnetic fields. These balls are little magnets, and as I drop them onto the plate, the balls attract each other or repel each other. They turn around, and so they all join up in patterns. There's a self-organizing property in fields. They're inherently integrative. And what I'm suggesting is that there's another kind of field called morphic fields, which organize the bodies of animals and plants and organize the activities of brains and minds. Rupert believes that morphic fields are what allow birds to fly in perfect formation, what guide the mass migrations of herd animals. And he also believes they are the reason we get that uncanny feeling when someone stares at us. He has even run a series of experiments to try to prove that this sense is real. Not looking. You either look or you don't look in a random sequence of trials at somebody else, and they have to guess in each trial if they're being stared at or not. Not looking. The starer should concentrate their mind on the person they're looking at. When I do it, I also think of the person's name. Looking. You so say I can concentrate all my attention on them. When I'm not looking at them, I look at the floor or I close my eyes, and I think of something completely different. Not looking. Brilliant. 14 right and 6 wrong. Something's going on. And although the effect's not big, it's consistent and it's repeated over large numbers of trials. Rupert has gathered a body of evidence that shows people really do appear to know when they are being stared at. For him, it supports the idea that our bodies are surrounded by morphic fields, an invisible extension of ourselves. What I'm suggesting is that our minds work through extended fields that stretch out far beyond our heads into the world around us, linking us uh, to other people and to our environment.